G'day, thanks for checking out this Pickaxe Proto Platform video. Uh, in this video we're going to have a look at uh, first programming your motherboard platform. Um, now that we know what cable to use and what software to use. So again this is the USB AX027 USB download cable um, and I'm using Pickaxe um, Programming Editor to program the microcontroller. So when we um, turn on the microcontroller we should just have a red LED turned on for the power indicator and possibly the green light will be flashing but it doesn't matter if it's not at the minute. What we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the screen and go to a, do a Google search maybe and we're going to search for pickaxe proto platform and press enter and the first link there should be my website called www.pickaxeprotoplatform and it will direct you to the home page where you can have a bit of a look around yourself but um, we're going to go to products and then go to the motherboard this one P motherboard and then on this page is a bit of a photo a bit of a description data sheet to show you how to assemble the board or you can watch the video and uh, an example code. So we'll highlight that example code and right click and press copy and then we're going to go to our pickaxe programming editor and copy and paste that that section of code into um, that window. Now um, you notice that all the colors have changed um, from what they were on the website and We've got green and blue and there's some black and there's some also some teal sort of a colour in there as well. Now all the green um, green sections are just comments for the end user. Um, they're not sent to the microcontroller, they're just descriptive text to tell us what's happening in the code. Uh, next line down, this isn't necessary but this is just saying that we're going to be using the PX 14 m 2 microcontroller. That's automatically selecting the 14 m 2 um, from the pickaxe modes here rather than having to do that uh, in the options menu. Then um, next next couple of lines down we've got some si the symbol command so blue, these dark blue are uh, commands that the pickaxe recognise and um, what I've done here is just um, relabeled the uh, names or the pin names that pickaxe have given the microcontroller to make them sort of logical um, and easy to remember and I've got some silk screens on my boards that have P have the numbers sorry 1 to 20 um, and I've just put a P in front of it uh, to make it um, an appropriate symbol or label um, so that's the stands for pin 2 um, and that's just saying that C5 from the microcontroller data sheet is connected to P2 um, these are fairly easy to remember, um, the numbers P1 to 20, but uh, even easier, like it says here, you can replace P19 or replace whatever the pin is that you're connecting to a component to um, be replaced with some descriptive text to describe what you're connecting it to. So I could have replaced that with G LED that could represent uh, green LED, and that's just up to you. You can choose whatever labels you like in there, they don't need to be ones that Pickaxe recognise. Well, they can't be ones that Pickaxe recognise. Um, now everything happens under main in a uh, linear sequence so high is uh, asking the the pin to turn on um, so it's saying turn on P19 which is um, pin 19 of the microcontroller which is actually um, B0 on the 14M2 and then we're pausing for 500 milliseconds, which is half a second, <clears throat> turning that uh, P19 off again uh, with a low command and then pausing for 500 milliseconds and then going back to main. So if I simulate that, and this is one of the features I like in the Pickaxe Program Editor, you can simulate um, a bit of code before you actually program it and you can see that the uh, light's flashing every time it goes past the high command and then when it gets the low command it turns off that uh, light and then returns back to main and it just continues to repeat that loop. So we'll stop that and we can press program and you'll see this download bar go across. Now 
I haven't turned my microcontroller on yet and I just got this error to say hardware not found so that's because I it's not powered, hardware not powered so I'll click OK to that and turn my microcontroller on first and then press program and you'll see that uh, the, the blue bar will go across and it will say downloading program and while that's happening on your hardware on the actual physical board um, the green LED on the motherboard platform or the motherboard sorry will be um, a sort of a dull dull green colour uh, to say that the pickaxe is communicating with the computer so once you've done that the green light should be flashing every half second and uh, if I change these values from 50 milliseconds to say uh, sorry 500 milliseconds to 50 milliseconds and press program again you can see that it's gone back to that dull colour um, which is just saying it's communicating to the computer and when it finishes programming we should have a light that flashes every 50 milliseconds and there it is there so thanks for watching this video in the next couple of videos we're going to be talking about the starter platform and showing you some of the things that that can do thanks bye